And Professor, if, if dollar drops from here, is there a, more of a danger that the U.S. economy overheats? And is this a good problem to have, or actually could it be a serious concern? Well, well if, it, if it drops, remember, we're, uh, imports are 15 percent of GDP. So a drop in the dollar uh, by f another 5 percent, that's got a pretty small impact on the overall price level and the state of demand of the U.S. economy. So I don't think about that uh, in the same context as the deficits or monetary policy. The Republican savior is to grow our way out of this mess. Do you see evidence that we can get to a sustained 3, 3.2% real GDP, which makes the little g in the Feldstein math good enough to stabilize the growth of debt, let alone decrease it? I don't think we're going to see. We could. But I don't we could, think agreed. we're going to see 3-plus percent growth on a sustained basis over the next decade. So then what do we do to get the, the frugality and the measured fiscal responsibility that you knew for decades in Washington? It seems to have evaporated. Am I correct? <laughs> well, I hope not. I hope that there is still some concern. But, of course, the, what happened in the earlier years was... When there were budget deficits, interest rates rose. That's the point. The market comes in as vigilante exactly. and becomes the debt vigilante. Are you predicting that, Professor Feldstein? Well, I think there's, we're seeing less of it than I would have predicted. I think we're beginning to see long rates moving up. If they moved up substantially, that might force the Congress to mm -hmm. think harder about this. But that means going after uh, uh, various programs of the Congress, uh, entitlements, food stamps, uh, and uh, finding other ways of raising revenue without raising tax rates. Uh, Professor, do you think uh, 2018 is a year where the Phillips curve comes back healthy? Well, I don't know whether I would say healthy, but comes back. I think we will see uh, rising inflation as a result of these super low unemployment rates. Okay, and this is, why has inflation been so hard to find? If you look at the PC core deflator, is, is it that people don't feel secure enough in their jobs to ask for wage increases? Well, of course, import prices uh, haven't moved up. We've got uh, not just China, but a whole bunch of other countries that <clears throat> are capable of right. supplying America's product needs right. without inflation. Very quickly here, Professor Feldstein, uh, Secretary Mnuchin obviously didn't take Act 10 from Martin Feldstein or Professor uh, Mankiw. What are the ramifications of a weak dollar policy as stated and then corrected by the president too? I don't think we have a weak dollar policy. I don't think we have any dollar policy. What is a dollar policy? Intervening in financial markets for the do on the, in dollars? We don't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, lowering interest rates in order to lower the dollar? We don't do that. So we don't do anything that's aimed at moving the yeah. value of the dollar. So I think <clears throat> what he was saying was the markets have pushed the dollar down in the last year, and that's good for exports. That's an okay statement. We would pass that in Act 10.